Hey guys, a very good morning to all of you. Myself, Neha Gupta, your mentor for current affairs. And in keeping in line with our promise that we had made for this week, I have brought to you this video which has very halka pulka questions. So let's begin with this video and cover all what we have in this video in a very light, concise, precise and very remarkable manner. Okay? So let's begin this video. But before that, if you haven't subscribed our channel, then do subscribe and hit the bell notification. And important information for you all is that you can get the PDF of this session on the Telegram channel and the link is in description below. Now, you must be observing something new in this video. Yes, the PPT has changed. Many students were saying to me that, ma'am, this format is quite dark and it uh, strains our eyes a lot. Therefore, I have changed this PPT format. A lot of effort has been put in this format by our marketing team, by our innovation team. Okay, so guys, this is for you only so that we can keep you engaged and we can remove all kinds of burdens and hassles that are there in your preparation. Okay, so we try to do our best. You also have to try to, do, try to do your best by preparing hard for your examination and keeping the other distractions away. Okay. So let's begin this video on that note. So here we have the first question. Guru Ghasidas National Park and Tamor Pingla Wildlife Sanctuary is the fourth tiger reserve of which state? Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, Bihar, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra are in the options out of which Chhattisgarh is the right answer. So recently National Tiger Conservation Authority has approved the proposal of this state government to uh, declare the combined area of Guru Ghazidas National Park and Temor Pingla Wildlife Sanctuary as the tiger reserve of this state. Now guys, do pay attention that it has become the fourth tiger reserve of Chhattisgarh and 52nd tiger reserve of India. There are certain specialities of the uh, tiger reserve that we will be discussing for sure. But first you need to put these facts in your mind that it is the fourth in the state and 52nd in all over India. Okay. Other tiger reserves in Chhattisgarh are Udanti, Sita Nadi, uh, Tiger Reserve, Achana Kumar, uh, Indravati Reserve. So these are the other three tiger reserves of Chhattisgarh. Now, why is this Guru Ghasidas National Park so important? There is a special speciality of this park and that speciality is, first of all, these two parks or basically this national park and this wildlife sanctuary, both of these protected areas are located in the northwestern region of this state. Thus, they provide a good connectivity between Madhya Pradesh and Jharkhand Tiger Reserves. Bandhav, Gad and Palamau Tiger Reserves. So it creates a corridor for the tigers to move from one tiger reserve to another in between Jharkhand and Madhya Pradesh. Now the other speciality of this tiger reserve is that it is very famous or the last known habitat of the Asiatic cheetah. Guru Ghasidas is very famous because it is known as the last habitat of Asiatic cheetah. So do remember this point as well. Now this is a bit of a more detail. So this Guru Ghasidas National Park is in Korea district and Tamor Pingla in Surajpur district. Okay, so these are the exact locations of this park. Moving on to the next question, which among the following is a GI tag product from Tamil Nadu? Salim fabric, Kanchipuram silk, Karupur uh, Kalamkari painting, Kanya Kumari cloak. So guys, here the right answer is option E, all of the above. Now out of these four options, two have recently got the GI tag. These two have recently got the GI tags. Therefore, this question is in uh, the news and this question is here. So, this Karupur Kalamkari painting, wood carvings of Kalakurichi and Kanyakumari cloak. All of these pr three products from the state of Tamil Nadu have recently go got the GI tag, geographical indication tag. And the very speciality of this cloak is that the most appropriate soil in which this cloak can grow is the black soil which is found in the hilly regions of the western Ghat. So this is the speciality of this product. Okay. That's all about this product. Kafi halki fulki news, 
Now let's move on to the next question. With which country has Ministry of Textiles signed an MOU for collaboration in cotton industry? Germany, USA, Brazil, Turkey, Benin. So out of these options, the right answer is Turkey. Oh, sorry, Germany. This is the right answer. So guys, Ministry of Textiles has signed the MOU with this German company, GIZ. Now guys, you have to keep an eye on this organization because nowadays, lately, this organization is getting involved in many uh, development projects of India, okay? So you have to keep a track of this organization's recent uh, news as well as recent projects in India. Moving on to this news, so the collaboration is in the field of cotton industry. Now what are they going to do? Basically under this MOU, they will promote cotton production, sustainable cotton production. Okay, so that is the basic idea behind signing this MOU, increasing the cotton production, the sustainable cotton production and strengthening the processing of cotton ecosystem, the ecosystem that pertains to the processing of cotton in India. Okay, so four majorly cotton producing states are being focused under this MOU and which states are those? Maharashtra, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. The goals or the target of this MOU or this collaboration is to increase the volume of cotton production to at least 90,000 hectares with the participation of 1.5 lakh cotton farmers and increasing the yield of cotton to by 10%. Okay, so this is the goal of this MOU that you need to know as well as remember from your exam point of view. Moving on to the next question. Which country has signed an MOU with India for academic collaboration in traditional medicine systems, especially in the field of Ayurveda? Croatia, Slovenia, Montenegro, Greece, Bulgaria. So, Croatia is the right answer. Guys, before moving on to the details of this question, I would like to ask a question from you all. And my question is that all of these five countries are geographically a part of the Balkan Peninsula which in total has 12 countries. Can you name the other countries that are remaining from this list? This is your question. Now let's move on to the details of this collaboration or this MOU. So this MOU basically facilitates promoting academic research between India and Croatia. Of course, Croatia will be the beneficiary country here because we have a better knowledge in Ayurveda and this would be in benefit of Croatia only. Okay, clinical and educational activities, medical education, training, com competency building. So all these activities will be undertaken under this MOU in the field of traditional medicine systems, particularly with a focus on Ayurveda. Okay, now this MOU was signed during a very important international event and that was the first International Yoga and Ayurveda conference that took place in Zagreb, which is the capital of Croatia. Okay, so that was all about this collaboration. This is guys the last question of today. So do pay attention to this question. Who has been appointed as a brand ambassador of Coin Switch Kuwait? Uh, Amita Bachchan, Ranveer Singh. <coughs> Sorry, Alia Bhatt, Sachin Tendulkar, Ajay Devgan. So here the right answer is Ranveer Singh. So Ranveer Singh has become the first brand ambassador of this coin switch Kuwait. Uh, coin switch kuch to badlega campaign. Okay, so this campaign also features Ranveer Singh. Guys, this can become a direct question. Like which organization has launched this kuch to badlega campaign? Then the answer would be coin switch Kuwait. Okay, so do remember. Recently, Amitabh Bachchan was also appointed as a brand ambassador of coin DCX. So that was all for today. I hope that you have enjoyed the video and if you have then do not forget to like this video, share it among your friends and subscribe our channel. Thank you so much. Prepare hard. Don't be lenient in your preparation guys because anytime the notification of your RBSAB examination can come. So you don't have to let your guards down. Prepare hard. Thank you so much.